schools will improve, their test scores will improve, the climate will improve when teachers and students interact differently, when teachers do different things with students. And the only way, the only significant way that deep change can happen that lasts, that really has an impact on kids, is when teachers are at the start of that change. When teachers either individually or collectively come together and they're the ones who lead a some kind of significant transformation in how they work with students, that's when deep change can happen and that's what teacher leadership is all about. It's, it's turning that model upside down from the principal's office being at the center of everything to truly the teacher being the generator of those more significant levels of deep school reform. But Chris Adam in particular had an interesting impact. She was a middle-level teacher just a few years ago. And as this middle-level social studies teacher, she's covering this social studies lesson with this group of students. And as she was talking to them about how difficult the students they were studying, and they, and they were studying a group of students uh, in contemporary times, how difficult their challenges were, and how this group of students didn't have access to education, and, and their lifestyle wasn't as, as, as privileged as the group of students she was working with. She, uh, her, her students said, is there something that we can do? Is there anything that we can do to help make the lives better of these students that we're reading about? And she decided, okay, if you're serious about this, we're going to go all in. So in just a few years after they made that commitment in that classroom, in those four walls, that group of students led, along with Chris and along with a number of other teachers and some other benefactors who came together to help, they led the construction of a new school, a new clinic, they led, the, they led the, 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 the creation of an orchard that would surround that area. They, they, they wound up staffing that, that institution with teachers and all kinds of support in an area where kids weren't getting an education before. Now that could stop the story right there and say, my goodness, if, could she come to my school or my, my area and do that for us and lead that kind of construction? But she worked in Metro Detroit and the students they sought to serve were in a very rural area just outside of Af uh, a very rural area of Afghanistan. And the thought that in a post 9-11 era, she was able to lead the construction of a school, a clinic, and support for all these students, a generation of particularly girls who never would have gotten an education had they not extended that effort is amazing. But I would argue that without question, she's one of the most important school leaders in Michigan and probably the United States in that she was able to lead a profound level of change to a group of students all the way around the world. And more importantly, she taught the students she was serving the powerful, the, the, the powerful ethic of service and what service can mean if you get committed to it. So teacher leadership is an incredibly, incredibly powerful concept that when applied can change the world. It changed the world for the students she worked with and it changed the world for the students that were being served in that, in that little village in rural Afghanistan.